Hi, I'm John Page, and this is me in 2006 at the Cheese Rolling in Gloucestershire, England. Moments before I threw myself down Cooper's Hill after a wheel of double Gloucester cheese, a great idea struck me. I should go all around the world and enter events just like this where anyone can enter. From the Nude Olympics in Australia to the wife carrying contest in Finland, I'd be an international man of wacky competitions. Of course, without the freedom to leisurely travel the world, I tucked my dream away for years. That is, until I started to think locally and started this blog called Anyone Can Enter. My mission? Compete in at least one offbeat, obscure, wacky, or just plain ridiculous event each month. The only rule? Anyone had to be able to enter the event. Unfortunately, when you only have one month to prepare for a contest, it's hard to become an expert. As I learned in a potato decorating contest, the CN Tower stair climb, the Asheville Idiot Arod, the Pennsylvania Stone Skipping Tournament, the Warrior Dash, and an Ugly Sweater Contest. While I didn't come close to winning any of those contests, I fared even worse at the National Hollering Contest. The Idaho Springs Pack Burrow Race, the Krispy Kreme Challenge, and the Bailey Farms Hot Pepper Eating Contest where I lost to a toothless 60-year-old man, even though I practiced eating orange habaneros at home. It's almost like in speed, where if they uh, slow the bus down underneath, holy crap, that's hot. Woo! It's just like taking over my body. I can honestly feel it in my toes. It's so freaking hot. Oh my God. Oh my God, there's not enough air in this room. But I wasn't always a loser. In fact, back in June, my buddy Mike Hepp and I won a national championship in egg tossing after a minor league baseball game in Hagerstown, Maryland. There, we outlasted a field that included little leaguers and our wives to win in a toss-off over the little leaguers coach and his friend. We came home with some sweet hardware and even made a little splash in the media. Jason Jennings has the story of a pair of Raleigh men who are the nation's best at throwing eggs. If there's a contest, John Page will try it. While the rest of America celebrated July 4th, Raleigh's John Page was at his mother-in-law's donkey farm. Come on, come on, boy, come on! Of course, competing in wacky events wasn't my only goal. This time last year, I weighed about 190 pounds. At 5 feet 9, most body mass index calculators call that obese. So back in November, I ran my first half marathon. And just the other day, I finished my first marathon. Better yet, I'm happy to tell you that today, I weigh 165 pounds. Now I'd still like to trim some pounds from my gut, but I think I could be ready for next year's Nude Olympics. In the meantime, Mike and I are asking sponsors to send us to the World Egg Throwing Championship this June in England where we'd be the first U.S. champs to compete for the world title. Along the way, we want to raise money for hunger-related charities. If you'd like to help, visit TossingForHunger.com to learn more. The egg-tossing hopes of a nation may be riding on it. So what have I learned from all this nonsense? Unless you're Superman, you're probably not going to win every contest you enter. Even potato decorating contests, where you clearly had the most original idea. Never wear your favorite pair of shoes, to a race where you'll be running with donkeys. Never challenge a 60-year-old man with no teeth to a pepper eating contest. He's probably tougher than you think. And don't be afraid to pursue your wildest, most far-fetched dreams. You might fulfill them closer than you think.